All right, this video is going to show you how to put in a segue image like this uh, coffee table here um, and allow you to have it always to be 100% width um, regardless of, of kind of where you're at. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that in Visual Builder. So we'll pop across here to um, edit the page and I'm just going to go and find it. Um, there's that button just in front of it. And this is our row with our coffee cup. And you can see just here, if I click on it, um, that shows you that there's a background image to this row. Uh, you can adjust the height of it um, by changing this spacing. So the image is actually 600 pixels, but if you do something that large, um, it will start to pixelate on really big screens. Um, so I, I would make it at sort of 75% of the, um, the size of the image, somewhere between 60 to 75%. Um, now you set up the row by saying stretch row and content with no padding. Uh, you don't need to change anything else in here. You can, if you would like, um, use the parallax as well. Um, you can add the image in there with the parallax. That's an alternative to doing it this way, which is um, when you come in here and if you set one of these up naturally, um, you'll click on the plus, uh, go find your image. There's our coffee image there. And then we'll click set. Uh, and then just make sure you change, change this drop down uh, to cover. Okay, uh, once you've done that, now you can simply uh, just let's alter the spacing there, go to 500 and click update. Obviously, if you're confident with your changes, you can use preview as well, either, either way. Um, and then come across over and refresh it, have a look at what we've got. Um, and there we go, it's uh, adjusted and it's slightly larger now. 